Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911A1 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist coming to you a very pissed off some bitch. What you're looking at is my Murray lawnmower I bought a couple of years ago and I had not done a video just because I just don't believe in going around slamming hell out of American companies. But I'm going to tell you what, this damn thing is the biggest pile of damn junk. It runs okay, but you see all that wetness over here? That is engine oil. You know why that engine oil is all over my motor? No, I did not pour it out from the damn bottle. You see the damn the dipstick? It's unscrewed. All right, I'm mowing around the damn bushes here. I freaking hate women in their damn bushes, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I'm mowing around them with it so I can come back later with big old... 40-year-old uh, SS-14 riding lawnmower and cut the rest of it. And I get over here and I notice all of a sudden that damn oil is going everywhere. Apparently when I mowed around the bottom of this one, it undid the, the uh, dipstick again. And so I was like, I've had enough of this crap. I'm going to do a damn video on this piece of crap. I'll wipe it off, you can see. All right, this is an M22500 MTD 22-inch push mower with the back wheels that are high, the tall back wheels, okay? And it's run a 140cc Briggs & Stratton motor. The cowling on the motor is plastic. The tank is plastic. That dipstick handle, the cap is plastic, okay? It's an actual dipstick. And this damn thing here, let's talk about the air cleaner for just a minute. You bump a tree, it'll pop right off. Next damn thing you know, you look down and you're riding around, you don't have anything. Just ridiculous. That happened the very first time I used it. And I thought, well, maybe it's a fluke. I didn't get it snapped on there good. It happens at least one time every damn time I'm mowing this pile of damn junk. Briggs and Stratton used to make an awesome mower. Now, I don't know whether this motor here is intended for use with like a pressure washer or something of that nature. It's a good motor. It cranks up real quick and easy. Oh. There's you some of the uh, specifics on it. But you can see I went under something, tree lamb, something, split that damn piece of crap plastic the dipstick it comes out at least one damn time every damn time i mow the air cleaner sometimes i'll i think maybe once in a while i'll get through an entire session without it popping off but i am sick and damn tired of this pile of damn junk whoever the hell come up with this idea for a push mower is a freaking moron all right this is stupid now i've got to refill it again or oh, another damn thing the bolts that hold the damn two halves of the uh, uh, the block together, they'll back out on their own. It's ridiculous. I've had to retighten them. I've had to put Loctite on them. And the damn thing leaks. So there ain't nothing I can do about it without taking the entire engine apart. But again, I've got to wipe everything down. Clean it all up. So I can use the damn thing. So for you guys and gals out there who may be thinking about a new push mower to do chores around the house, your homestead, whatever the case may be, avoid a motor like this. Okay, not a Briggs and Stratton. They're great motors, but avoid them. Oh, 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 and look, look at this crap. Piece of crap heat shield. I've had to retighten the damn screws. Finally, one of them came out and it left. I ended up taking that piece of crap off. But these are not the best motors. Briggs and Stratton has ever put out, especially not for this application. And like I said, maybe uh, they're cheaper engines, so that's what Murray bought and put on here. Well, Murray, you a bunch of damn morons. Oh, made in the USA of U.S. and global parts. But this still is a guarantee that's a U.S. design or some engineer they hired from somewhere. It's stupid. 
for a push mower is stupid. I'm gonna end up having to wash this damn motor again, degrease it so it doesn't overheat from the oil collecting dirt and crud and crap. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Avoid the damn Murray 22 inch cut of any kind with that motor on it if you're gonna be push mowing and you got any kind of bushes, a low hanging damn porch or anything else you gotta mow around with it. That is all.